Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back from the 13 Sentinels. Um, so originally I just wanted to go over people's stuff, not necessarily start Hijiyama today, maybe do some battles, but I accidentally started his storyline. So, man, I'm gonna have to play through his bit of the story, then go back to like regroup and catch up with what all 13 characters are doing. And then I'll probably like start doing battles to get them out of the way. So let's get going. Kijama, this is the first time I'm playing him ever since his prologue. So, let's see what happens. He's only ever been in the old school building when it was new. And he's thinking about Tsukasa. Hijiyama and Keitaro are the two that are like really into winning the war. Sneak in. Was that a path? Nope. There's only one path. That's not our school uniform. What the hell are you doing here? No, oh, he came into the old building. ずいぶんくたびれちまったな。コンピューター。I just want to make sure. Okay. I don't have any fact. Hey Golden, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Reminis. How day be? Day was pretty good. I got a bit of work to do today and it was fun and exciting. But now I'm super excited to continue playing 13 Sentinels. I'm also super tired again today because I woke up early <laughs> to go walking. So yeah, I just want to pass out after this. But how are you? I hope your day was good. <laughs> Oh, that is a pretty shot. Ooh, that is a pretty shot. Tamo! Tsukasa! Keitaro! Day was very up and down. Ooh! I hope it was more up than down. You're beautiful. How come Hijiyama is the only one I call by his last name? Everyone I call by their first name. Takatoshi. <laughs> Did he really say that to her? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's, he's really there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Hijiyama might be rising up in my list of favorite characters. He's so funny. Kind of cancel each other out one of these days when you get good news, but some really bad news. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks when that happens. It's just like, oh. but I'd rather you get the bad news first and then the good news because then you have something to celebrate. If you get really good news, but then really bad news, it's just like, well, frack, my mood is ruined. Don't want to bring down the mood here, though. It's all good. As long as it's not something like too serious, I hope everything else is like going well with you. Love of my life, you're here. You could have just taken a nap at my place. Ooh. Bad news did come first, but it's really hard hitting my favorite guitars. Oh yeah, I saw the news Van Halen passed away. That, yeah, I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. Isn't it crazy to think that we live in a time where all of these like, like acting or music or like any great superstar that we grew up just being so influenced by and loving their artwork by, they're now starting to pass away and we're just like, how? They were like a symbol 
like an eternal symbol, sort of, because they were around before we were alive. They were here during our lifetime. And it's like, you don't think that anything else bad could happen, but then it does. The t-shirt is true. This is the worst year I've ever lived in. <laughs> I've had worse years. This year, actually, I have been very, very blessed, and I'm so lucky and thankful. Me, personally, the world's that, like, this is the worst year that I've lived in. Actually, is this year worse than the year of 9-11? Yeah, I think so. This year is worse. <laughs> The good news is today, NHL draft day, and my team got a real great fit. Ooh, which team do you like? I've always wanted to go see a hockey game. I'm just like, one day I'll go see a King Kings game, no problem. And then COVID happened, and I was like, damn it, I missed my chance. <laughs> Rangers, Alexis Lef. Wow, I. I do not recognize that name. Ah, but a Rangers fan. I know people like jump on bandwagon, so like everyone was a Rangers fan when Gretzky was there. And then at some point, everyone was a Red Wings fan. And then like everyone was a Penguins fan. And everyone was an Avalanche fan. Wow, I'm really dating myself because I'm saying that the Rangers, Red Wings, and Avalanche were super popular. <laughs> Gretzky was way before my time. I became a Rangers fan as a kid. Wow, so then you are a true loyal Rangers fan. Ikebuka. Hey, Sal, how you doing? Thanks for joining! 9-11 was the year I went blind, so that was another really- Oh my gosh. Wow, so it's... Bad years for- for Oh, dang. I'm so sorry I brought that up. <laughs> I can't think about destroyers, okay. No need to apologize, it doesn't bug me. Okay. I just don't want to make people feel uncomfortable or like accidentally step on toes. Oh, my shoulders hurt. Beaming out these signals calling the destroyers here. So is it the nano machines inside our bodies that's calling out the kaiju? You're like 3,000 miles away from me, so you need to get really stretch hard to step on mine. <laughs> but I'm just... What if I'm like Elastigirl or like um, Plastic Man and I could just stretch as far as I want? Yes, that's what I was thinking. The nano machines were only there so we could pilot the sentinels. He made the sentinels. Their nano machines got modified. Hmm. If you could stretch that far, I'd ask you to stretch over here so I could high five you. <laughs> I'll just like reach my arm all the way over there, like, give me high fives. You're just gonna see a random hand pop up in front of you. <laughs> That'd be scary. Little network of tiny machines. Someone's been implanting these kids with nano machines. But who? Like Cousin It from Adam's Family? <laughs> I finally watched both Adam's Family's movies. I remember watching one when I was younger, but I didn't really remember much from it. Whenever I hear of nano machines, I always think of Metal Gear Solid. Me too! <laughs> nano machines. 
I can't even get drunk. The nano machines. Metal Gear. It's a tank with legs. The shackle heart sucks. Koko ni kakurete itamae. I love Metal Gear Solid. My favorite game of that series is the first one. It's just so good, so perfect. I, I even love the pixelated graphics in the PS1 era. I love it. Yakisoba Pan! Yeah, I think Hijiyama might be. <laughs> My next, my third favorite character. My three favorite characters are all boys. I loved history class in high school, so I love the story, even if it makes no sense. Yeah, Metal Gear makes no sense because they keep retconning everything, and I'm like, what? What? This? What? How? When? How did you? What? <laughs> I still love it. I enjoyed it. A lot of people hated uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, and I'm like, I thought it was fun. But I understand it's because a lot of people thought that they were going to pl be playing as um, Solid Snake, and instead they played as Raiden. But I thought it was so funny when he was running around naked and <laughs> he had to do a cartwheel to dodge them. <laughs> And I was like, actually, making you play as Raiden is good because it just shows how awesome Solid Snake is because Raiden's training to become like the next Solid Snake. And I was like, yes, this is how impressive he is. Suddenly, Cyborg Raiden. Oh, yeah, Cyborg Raiden looks so good. Uh, let's leave. Hey, Takatoshi! MGS2 is my favorite. One is close, but two beats it by a hair. Ooh, mine is one. Like, so hard. And then it's two. And then, I really like Peace Walker, but only because I love the UI and the sound effects and the little mini game that it had. But that's why I love Peace Walker. <laughs> uh, hi. Hi, talk to me. Search for Okino at school. Okay, so this is where it starts branching out. Come on, talk to me. Okay, don't. Ever played Peace Walker, but I heard mixed things? <laughs> that kind of hanky panky has no place. Okay, yeah, Hijiyama's my third favorite character. He might even become my second. If A turns out to be a jerk. But yeah, Peace Walker, the story was like. Mm. She has no eye for men. She needs more manly men like me. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'll go to the break area. That was PSP one, right? Yep. Mm hmm. Seriously, I <laughs> I spent most of my time in Peace Walker, just like doing all the random side little things. Just like, oh, I love hearing this noise. If I could have those sounds on my phone or my computer, I totally would. It's, I just love listening to it, and I usually hate sound effects in everything. I'll turn up the volume like as low as it can go. But Peace Walker, I was like, pump it up, <laughs> lower the volume of everything else. Also, I'm kind of biased against Peace Walker because one of the characters was voiced by my favorite Japanese voice actress. So, yeah. Aw, oh, man. I can't get any drinks. Pump it up and air it out. <laughs> pump, pump, pump it up. Was this a bust? Is there anything else I can explore? Observe Amiguchi and Fuisaka. Oh, that was the half. Okay, well. Go to the 
schoolyard. It super is, though. Girls with their short skirts. <laughs> Ooh, he got a love letter? <gasps> love letter. How's Tomi gonna respond? Ever play Demon Souls? According to Twitter, it's the 11th anniversary of that game's release. I have not, but for um, Halloween, I'm planning on playing Fatal Frame 2 and or Demon Souls or Bloodborne. One or the other. So, but if it's Demon Souls 11th anniversary, then maybe I'll play Demon Souls. That's why I'm trying to finish um, 13 Sentinels really fast so that in the later half of October, I can spend it for, like, spooky games. Ah, she fell in love with me! Fatal Frame is great, the ones I played anyways. Which ones have you played? Coochie bad. No, Hiji was a good boy. Oh, damn it. Oh, they both lead to the same outcome. Okay, cool. The teacher. I've played Fatal Frame 1. I played it last year. Uh, I died a lot. Um, but I know the story of all the other Fatal Frames because there's one streamer that mostly plays horror games. That's the only way I was able to like survive watching horror, horror games and like Fatal Frame. Only the first two, but two is really good. Okay, my experience with Fatal Frame. I bought Fatal Frame 2 because it was $5 at GameStop. I turned on the game. I walked into the village. I got to the first house. Didn't even pick up the camera. Found the first save point and I quit. I was so scared. <laughs> but yeah, that's my experience with Fatal Frame 2. <laughs> Uh, go to the walkway. Fatal Frame 1 I beat the whole way through last year. Ghosts are cool though. They're terrifying. Though, the ghost that scared me the most in Fatal Frame 1 is the one that, um, falls from the sky with her broken neck, and so she's looking at you backwards. Oh my gosh, that freaked me out so much. Like Exorcist? Ugh. At first, the ghosts were really scary. And then later on in the game, they got annoying because I clearly took a picture of them with my viewfinder straight on them, but they did not take damage, and it was so frustrating. <gasps> Tukasa, you're cheating on Hijiyama! Aww! <laughs> <laughs> He's so upset about this! <laughs> Ichiyama! She's not a girl! He's not a girl! He's not a girl! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ever play until dawn? Guess, guess what I have. I have until dawn right here. I have not played it, but I want to. I've seen other people play it, and I want to try it for myself to be like, how would I survive? How would I fare? Yeah, this is... 
It's pretty good. I suck at it, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I really want to try it. I was actually thinking about playing Until Dawn for Halloween. Or for like spooky summer, but I missed it. <laughs> I should have done spooky summer. Uh, I'll do it next year. But I feel like for my spooky series, I, I just want to play all the fatal frames I can. Hard to believe it's already October for me anyways, part of me still feels like it's August. I feel like it's... June. <laughs> It's like some days time feels like it's going very fast, but then some days time is very slow. How's my path? Cool. <laughs> he still has a happy face when he's knocked out. Destroy us. Come with most of our perception of flow of time. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good as like I was thankful that I still had a job that I was like wake up, do some work, then you know stream or hang out and chill, whatever. Like, I was still able to be on a rhythm, and so I wasn't going as crazy as other people when um, Stay at Home started. Because a lot of people were like, hey, temporarily, you're like furloughed or, you know, you're laid off, you don't have a job anymore. So, like, their, like, days were just muddled into one thing, but I had, like, a schedule I could stick to, so. So it wasn't too bad for me. That means Nenji doesn't have any nano machines, right? I originally thought that Tsukasa was the one sending out the decode signature, but maybe it's A? Because A is Prisoner 426? Or maybe it's Ryoko who's sending out the signal. Ah, oh, so many things, so many things! The toughest part of that was not knowing when or if they could even go back to their jobs. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Super stressful period for a lot of people. And it's like small businesses are trying to open up safely now, but it's like nobody really wants to go work for them or. Uh, we just need we just need everyone to wear masks please <laughs> and keep washing your hands can't wait until 50 years from now when all this is in the chapter and textbook in schools yeah like you think that you're not gonna live through a really big like important time in history when you're growing up but this is our big I thought like 9-11 would be our thing but no it's it's now it's 2020 <laughs> This is closest to living through something like the Cold War, the Great Depression. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Which is crazy because when you learn about the Great Depression in school, you're like, that'll never happen again because we've experienced it before. We know how to remedy that situation. And so we'll, like, watch out for it in the future. But no, we're going through it now, and it's like, how is this possible? Didn't we learn from the first time? That's why we learn history. Hirogomocho abandoned factory second floor. Why was I knocked out? Humans learning from mistakes, good one. I mean, but yeah, we should. It's like how we developed vaccines for a lot of diseases and like... You know... Actually, no, people are always gonna fall into periods of... 
strife and war and peacetime and it's going to continue to happen. Kimi no code o chotto shirabe nagara iroiro to kangaete itanda. Sugu ni hodoke samo nakya. Or else you what? Imasara iyagaru koto wa nai daro. Koushou no jikken shits de wa kutari kiri de zutto. <laughs> Don't you like spending time alone with me? たとえそれが事実だったとしても今はもう状況が違う本気で怒る前にほどけおかしいなあ。<laughs> Hentai。いい加減にしろ。じゃあ、もっと君の心を調べてみようか。Oh my gosh. Just got to rip open my chest. これは驚いたな。そんなに僕を。バカを言う。なるほど。you love him so much. I mean, what I'm not the even gonna. Kakush demo karada no suji was so jiki does all. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. I haven't. I've only been exposed in bits and pieces because of live journal and Tumblr. When I'm accidentally like, oh. I like this person's post. Let's see what else they posted. And it's just boom. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not mean to see that. If you don't see the visuals and you just hear this audio, then you're just like, oh yeah, they're doing something pretty risque. What's she doing with Deoxys' tentacle? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to review, just like me relying on the audio. <laughs> he was like, ooh, stop it, stop it! I'm like, ooh. Okay, so I want to recap and go through what everyone's going through right now. Takatoshi Hijiyama. He's originally from the 40s. He was in the military, and he's... His whole deal is he wants to follow Kiriko Doji, who's actually Tsukasa Okino, because he has a crush on her. Him. And then he accidentally gets time-traveled to 85 because he follows Tsukasa. So Captain America. Basically Captain America. With, a, like, a bigger crush. Uh, okay. Ke Keitaro Miura. He's also from the 40s. But... We've seen recordings of him from 2187, where he is older and without a scar on his head. Um, he thought he had a little sister named Chihiro, but she turned out to not be his actual biological sister. And now he's just trying to find a way to go back to the 40s to win World War II. Also in the future in 2187, he seems to be in a relationship with Natsuno. And I think that's it for him. Natsuno. She's super upset. Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Uh, Natsuno. She's super obsessed with aliens. She's in the track club. She's originally from the 80s, but we also see her in Keitaro's future recordings in 2187. She has a relationship with him. And supposedly, in the future, Yuki Taka, Takamiya? Yuki... Yeah, Takamiya is her mom, but in the 80s, Yuki Takamiya is her best friend. And, like, right now she's going around with a robot named BJ. She thinks he's an alien. BJ is looking for Sentinel number 17. Or some kind of Sentinel. And supposedly she is missing because she hasn't been coming out to school. Renya Goto is a douchebag. Um, we only played his prologue so far, but he seems to be in the know totally about what the Sentinels are because he's from, I think he's originally from 2060 something, 2064, but then he goes back to 2025 
because they, that's also when they tried to stop the kaiju and then now he's like okay now we gotta go back further into the 80s to try to stop all the kaiju he knows what the deal about chihiro is right now he's pretending that chihiro is, in the small body is his younger sister also in the future when he's an old grandpa he is the president of Shikishima Corporation, which seems to be manufacturing all these different kinds of weapons and just like everyday normal goods and possibly the Sentinels. Time traveling, fighting with Gojira. <laughs> I, wished, I wish I could see a Godzilla, but no, there's no Godzilla. A Sekigahara. We don't know what time he's from. He lost his memory. Um, there seem to be men in black suits coming after him. Because they're like, you gotta kill someone for us. And, um... Let's see. Yeah, he lost his memory. He supposedly killed adult Chihiro. Uh, he's a prisoner. Uh, number 426. He somehow infected uh, some other sentinels in a battle in 2025 or 2064. He seems to know Ryoko and is pretty close with her. He doesn't want Ryoko to be fighting, but she won't listen to him. Uh, funnily enough, my favorite Godzilla movie is the one about time travel. I never actually watched a whole Godzilla movie. Hmm. Maybe I should. Uh, what else with A? He time travels a lot too. He knows Judo because they fought together. Um, and then in one future time time period he's actually shot and killed by judo an adult judo there's a time travel one? yeah i didn't know that the only godzilla movies i know are the most recent one with um millie bobby brown 11 from stranger things and the one before that was with matthew broderick and then of course like the super old classic japanese ones those are the only ones i know Megumi Yakushiji is super boring and super lame. She's super in love with Judo, but that's before he lost his memory. And now, and that was in 2025 when she first met him and fell in love with him. But then he lost his memory. He got his whole memory wiped. He has a new personality and she decided to go back to 1985 to be with him because she loves him so much. But back in the 80s, she beats a talking cat and this cat says, shoot these witches with this gun because they're evil. So the people she shot so far are Renya, Goto. She tried to shoot A Sekigahara, but she failed. Uh, and she shot Shu, Amiguchi. But when she shot Shu, a sentinel popped up and Judo saw it and he was like, what the heck? And she seems to really hate Renya for possibly messing with um, Judo's mind. Uh, Iori is pretty... Meh. She has insomnia because she has dreams about robots. But we just found out that she is uh, Chihiro Morimura, who is the school nurse, but also the tiny little five-year-old, ten-year-old girl who was posing as Keitaro's little sister. So how... Iori could be around while adult Chihiro is there is weird, but I'm thinking that adult Chihiro said she tried to put her memories and abilities in a clone of her to make her ability stronger. And I'm guessing that's what Iori is. Because Iori doesn't seem to have all of her memories back, but whenever she has dreams, she like sees Judo and Chu in there. And so she's also been to different time periods. She's been to 2064, she's been to 2108 or something. And she's in love with A. And she's like, I don't know why I love him, but he looks so familiar. Judo is a seasoned sentinel pilot, but that's when he was Judo Izumi, not Judo Kurabe. Uh, Judo Kurabe in the 80s loves sci-fi movies and monster movies. Um, but as Judo Izumi, he fell in love with Megumi in 2025, but in another flashback memory scene in 2104, 2108, he said that he loved Iori, her. Um, but also when we see him in an adult form, uh, him and Chihiro, adult Chihiro, kill a lab full of researchers 
but Judo also kills the teenage bodies of A, Tomi, Megumi, and I thought it was Shu, but maybe it's someone else. But he killed like four students. And he's like, yeah, all of you have to die so that the kaiju stop coming. And I think that was it for him. Ryoko Shinonome. Uh, she seems to be taking pills that mess with her memory somehow. She's super in love with Tetsuya Ida, who is working for the Special Investigations Unit. And he, Ida only seems to want to use Ryoko for her sentinel piloting abilities. Uh, she knows A. She fought alongside him and Judo in 2064. Um, she, her adult self in the future, caused the whole kaiju thing to be a problem. Because she's like, oh, Ida didn't love me. Uh, he only saw me as, he only wanted to use me. Humanity is so mean to each other, even though when there's so few of us left. Um, I'm going to destroy humanity so that the loop continues forever and humanity will be wiped out. So Ryoko's a little weird and shady. Um, yeah, she's posing as a high schooler in 1985 to check up on other Sentinel pilots who, go to, who all go to the same high school. I think that's it for her. Yuki Takamiya. Uh, my brain hurts. My brain hurts too. I'm just saying all this just to like try to um, get everything like consolidated in my head. Yuki Takamiya transferred to Sakura High School where everyone else is attending uh, because she was approached by Tetsuya Ida to keep an eye on all the other Sakura High School students because they're sentinel pilots. Um, she bumped into Shu Amiguchi uh, when she was beating up some gangsters from a different high school. Uh, in the future, Supposedly, she is Natsuno's mom, but right now, she's clearly the same age as everyone else. She's a high school girl. Uh, and she found out that the SIU, the men in black suits, want to investigate Natsuno, and she's like, uh, no, she's my best friend, you're not gonna do that. So she's trying to find Natsuno and make sure she's safe. Do you ever see someone on the internet and then imagine an entire relationship with them then get depressed because it will never happen because you better not simp not no some season uh, goes on your year round kick so keep being chat wait what because you better not no sim season goes oh i read that wrong you better not no sim season goes on year round king so keep being chat um when i was younger i used to be like oh my gosh what would it be like if i was like going out with this celebrity or, like this famous person and then i'm like wait i don't really know who they are I will never see them in my natural lifetime unless I like go to where they live, which is not going to happen because I live where I live. And then I was like, eh. I mean, is it wrong to fantasize and think about it? No. If it's just like a little blip, everyone does it. But if you're like super serious about it and start stalking that person, then that's a little creepy. Okay. Shu Amiguchi. He's a super rich kid. I thought he was originally from 85, but he seems to be from the future too. Um, he was seen in 2064 with adult Chihiro being like, oh my gosh, we gotta, we gotta get out of here. We have to try this again in another timeline to prevent the kaiju from, um, from coming around. But every time he has a dream or flashback, he calls himself Tetsuya Ida. So I'm like, then where does the name Shu Amiguchi come from? That's weird. He has a crush on Yuki in 1985, but in his um, 2025 and other future memories, he actually likes Tomi. And in one future scene, he is building a robotic body for Tomi to live in again because she was killed as a person. Uh, and also, in 1985, whenever he turns off his TV, he's talking to an idol named Miyuki Inaba. And I don't know what significance she has on the story right now. Simp toast. Ah! Having a celebrity crush is fine. Actually acting like you'll date them is F'd up. Chu from Blue Dragon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I have celebrity crushes too. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that person's so awesome. Or I'll be like, hey, this, per this actor's in this movie. Uh, of course I'm gonna watch it. But... 
actually thinking that like oh my gosh one day they'll magically come down and we'll get into a relationship and like everything will be so like awesome and amazing and happy no that's not gonna happen tomi kisaragi is megumi's megumi is her friend from 2025 she saw when judo uh teleported in on his sentinel in 2025 she right now uh oh wait in 2025 after the kaiju attacked she was forcibly taken from that time by renya goto because he knocked her unconscious and he brought her to 1985. so right now she is investigating shikishima industries and being like what the heck is up with them they are shady um we haven't seen an adult version of her so far the only like future thing we've seen of her is her in 2025 which is her actual normal timeline and when she's turning into an and into a robot from uh ida tetsuya uh, in 2025, she's there with Nenji, Okata, and Miwako to investigate what happens in that timeline. Nenji Okata! I think he's originally from 1985. We haven't seen any future things of him. He see like, in his storyline so far, he was in a time loop caused by uh, Tsukasa Okino to find a key. What that key does, I don't remember exactly, but it's like the decode key and the time the time loop finally stopped when he ran into Ryoko Shinonome and E Sekigahara on a train and then Ida Tetsuya walked up and was like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And so that's his deal. He, I think, has a crush on Tomi and I want them to get together so bad. And I think that's everyone and I hope that was everything. Oh, gosh. That was a lot. I didn't think a series was come from a simp joke. <laughs> because some people do take it seriously and I'm just like, calm down! Clear with that sentinel being immobilized, clear within 50 seconds. So now I'm gonna try some battle stuff. Uh... Oh wait. 9, 11, 10, 7, 7? You're only level 7? Oh my gosh. 8, 8, 8, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're gonna level people up. Um, 9. 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 9. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to this team. Didn't quite get that. Could you start over? No, I can't. <laughs> Wait, is it No Sim season over? It, it was No Sim September, right? What is October? Because November is No Shave November, right? Pacific Rim time? Yep. Now you get to see how not cool looking the monsters are. See, look, they're just pixels. Oh yeah, this girl on the screen right now is the idol that talks to uh, Shu through his TV. Spooktober. I guess everyone's too busy with Halloween to, um, do anything special. Uh, to be safe, I'm gonna move you out here. Uh, action. Sentry gun. Long range missiles. Long range missiles! I'm ready for. <laughs> Destruction December! <laughs> what happens in December? How do you destroy it? <laughs> Oops! Uh, 
you also do a sentry gun, right? There. Actually, can I have the knuckles? Come on, come on, get closer. Get closer! Damn it. Uh, arm onto cannons. Be in me every day, all day. For a lot Dude! You're- You're gonna get, like, blisters or chafing! That's terrible! That does not sound like a good idea, man! Uh, let's see... Uh, no, uh... Place another sentry gun! Uh, this away! More long-range missiles, please... Oh, there's two of you, okay. Then there's Fibonacci February. What is Fibonacci February? How? What? Who's number 16? Ryoko's 14, Iori's 15, A is 11, Judo's 13, Yuki's 21. Hmm. Me in accordance to the Fibonacci sequence. <laughs> Sentry gun this way? I can! Wasn't number one Marluxia? Oh wait, that's Kingdom Hearts. Don't, don't! Don't talk to me about Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> Freaking Kingdom Hearts, screw you! My friends are my power! Kingdom Hearts is light! Ugh! I loved Kingdom Hearts when it first came out, and then it became so such a huge disappointment. I like Kingdom Hearts, but I can't make sense out of stories to save my life. It's like I want to like it more, but I can't. It's the first two games were really fun and exciting and charming. And then and then it just got too many spin-offs, too convoluted, too weird. Ugh. Like, I was so disappointed with Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm. Multi rocket launchers? Yeah. Like, I feel like the gummy ship part of Kingdom Hearts 3 actually was pretty fun, but I did not spend the time to uh, really look around the constellations and pick up all the gummy ship designs and blocks that were needed to build the stuff. Because, um, I got super motion sick, and I was like, I can't fly around and look around at all these things, or else I can't play the actual game. Heavy Knuckles. Uh, let's see. Multi-rocket launches again! I know now, without a doubt. Kingdom Hearts is light! I'll give Judo some enemies to attack over there. I'll go over here. But yeah, the story of Kingdom Hearts makes no sense. And then I was like, yay, Kingdom Hearts is finally over and done. Like, we don't need any more of this. But then they're like, oh no, the story of, uh, whatchamacallit. The, the thing... 
that showed up in the Toy Story world. With the Riku Noctis look-alike. And I was like, that's gonna be its own game? Frack, stop it. Uh, multi-rocket launchers! Are you guys bad guys? No, you're in my sentry guns. Uh... Uh, kill you. Uh... Yeah, get both of them. Every game introduced like 16 new plot lines and it's just impossible to keep track of them all. Yep, yep, yep. I was like, can you just like fully flesh out this one part of the story, please? But then they kept adding new characters and like new organizations and I was like, what what are you doing? Why you do this? There are probably faster ways to kill them instead of just using like um whatchamacallit? Long range. Are you a bad guy? No, you're my sentry gun. Yeah. But long-range multi-attacks are so fun! Do I need to make another sentry gun? Probably do. Yeah, that one looks like it's dying. I'll just keep pounding you. Ah, so close to dying! Is there anyone closer to me? Nope, no one else is close to me, so I'll attack you? No. I'll attack you. Sorry, Riku Kairi were all I needed, and the Disney characters too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the organization got too, like, redonkulous. Oh, he sent out, uh, projectiles. Hi. Uh, anyone on the left side? Yeah. I suppose I could start moving, uh, what's her, what's her face up. Rapid cannons, go! Die! Yay! Oh no, but missiles, whoopsies! Uh, we will charge your EP. Um... Uh, Battering Railgun, go! Yeah, that does way more damage. Why didn't I do that earlier? Uh, can I Heavy Knuckles? Yeah, I can! I'm getting the battleship vibes right now with this kinda. Uh, can I name battery rare? Yeah. Someone's gotta be close enough. Yeah, you're close enough. Woohoo! Uh, heavy knuckles, you again. But yeah, see, you don't actually see the, um, you don't see the battle stuff happening. It's just... pixels. Long range missiles! I can get both! Die! Yes, dead. Yes! All of them dead. 2,000 kilometers, all secure. Yep. Oh, not 2,000, 2 kilometers. Oh, Hijiyam is at number 12, my favorite number. From Chihiro.
Hey, it's the four guys I like. All in one screen. Oh, now Ryoko's here. She ruined it. Two kilometers, so what's that? 50 feet? Uh, I know a 5k is 3.1 miles. So... Five kilometers is 3.1 miles. So if we do half of that, which is 2.5 kilometers, is about 1.5 something miles. About a mile? I was never good at math. Whoa, Ryoko's my MVP. Okay. I don't know what these pilot skills do. Rank S, wee! Ooh, I did not clear within 50 seconds. No, I didn't unlock the bonus thing! Shoot, I'm gonna have to play this one again on my own time. Uh, Sentinel upgrades have been added to the customized screen. Enhance your Sentinels by using meta chips. Press triangle to open customized screen. Use left and right for Sentinel upgrades. Press X to upgrade. Okay. Oh, chip multiplier. Uh, sure. Meta skill use, yes. Sure. System eight. Um, enhance my score. Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Maxed out. We. And I don't have any more points. Whoopsies! Uh, durability boost, gravity... Pulling kaiju towards it. Oh. Score boosts. Nah. Pulling type 98? Sure. Well, now I can't upgrade anything. Um, I'll just... I'll just... Do this. Okay, now I can't upgrade anyone's anything. Um, safety defense rate at time of clearing 80% or higher. Maintain a terminal defense rate of 70% or higher. Okay, that is no problemo. Level 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 11, 9. Okay, so you, you, uh, and then 10, 10, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we'll just fry your brains. Okay, let's go. I'm allergic to four things. Pollen nuts, cat fur, and math. Math is so fun, though! Except percentages. Percentages suck. I can't do that. History class is my jam. Math put me to sleep. History was confusing because there's too many dates. Except the class I hated the most was English. I didn't mind reading the books, but I hated writing. Essays were so stupid. Actually, that's also why I didn't like history either, because you had to write essays about, like, a certain time period or events. And I did not like that. I was over I didn't mind writing, but I loved to books. But reading is fun! Destroy all cards- yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you gonna land? We're gonna move! Just straight this way! We're gonna play some sentry guns! Uh, I know they're gonna come in from the side, so sentry gun! I'm gonna have Judo move down, because they're coming. Did they land? They did not land. Okay, yeah, they didn't land yet. Okay, then we're gonna chill. Okay, they landed. Whee! Uh, 
Uh, you long range missile. Oh, they didn't land yet? No, you're too far away to do anything significant, but I'll do you. Ooh. Oh no, they're airborne! No! Uh, EMP attractor! Uh, Ooh, I could also do a sentry gun, but are mine cannons? Oh wait, they're that way. Okay. Yay! Kill them all! Uh, multi-rocket launchers! Did I put out a sentry gun with you? Yes, I did. And we're gonna do this. Uh, reading my Spider-Man comics was fun. Reading The Great Gatsby was boring as... I never had to read The Great Gatsby! <laughs> oh, I should have used my EMP attractor again. Whoops. I would have hit more. I'm a fool. Uh, long range missiles. Who's closer? No one's taking care of you, so boom. Like, I never had to read The Great Gatsby. I didn't have to read um, Animal Farm. Uh, you guys are pretty close. I gotta move you closer to the big guy. Uh, let's place a sentry gun. How about that? Uh, there's already one over there. Okay, no, we're gonna move you closer, actually. To this side, yeah. Mm. Gonna place another sentry gun. Right there. Uh, can I leap attack? The big guy? Will it hit? It didn't hit! Cause he's in the air! Frack! Uh... Okay, this is getting way too big. Uh, plasma EMP, go. Uh, if you like books, I have a friend who's a writer and has a good book coming out soon. Ooh! I still have so many books I'm reading. I'm reading um, Anna Karenina, uh, the George R. R. Martin book about all the Targaryens. Um, uh, what else am I doing? Um, a book from Edith Wharton and um, one of the Zone of the Enders books or Enders game books. Yeah, I'm reading a- I have a lot I have to read, and I haven't been reading them. Uh, multi-rocket launchers? Yeah. Hated Adam Far- I don't know what it's about. Uh, EMP attractor. You know what book really sucked though? Lord of the Rings- Lord of the Flies, not Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Flies was garbage. <laughs> You're lucky to keep it that way. <laughs> mm. Ooh, there's a lot of guys coming up close, so boom. Boom jams! I'm probably gonna have to set up another sentry gun there. Uh, is this part taken care of? No. Lord of the Rings is cool, Lord of the Flies was good for about one chapter. Lord of the Flies was never good! Stupid, selfish, dumb kids. You're on the ground now, I can kill you. Yes! Dead! Uh, sentry gun right there, please! Uh, can I attack you? Yeah. Waste of a small fry, but eh. Uh, 
multi rocket launchers? Where are you guys coming from? Actually, um, can I heavy knuckles you? Yeah. Dead. There's still a bunch of flying things, so gotta get rid of them. I know I have the sentry gun there, but you know, every little bit helps. Multi rocket launchers? Ooh, yeah, you're right there. Get away, please. Do I also have. Yeah, I got stun knuckle. Nope, but I'm not close enough. Uh. If I do it this way, I hit more people. Cool. Uh okay, I got an EMP attractor, you Yeah. Is there anyone oh he's not near anyone. Okay, so we're gonna move you closer uh uh Yeah, move you here. Now can I rush attack you? Yes I can! Ah, so close to dying. So close to dying. Uh, can't hit anyone, so we'll just move you closer back this way. Long range missiles. Yes. I think they should be dead. Yep, they're dead. City's at 91%. Good. How am I supposed to beat that first mission in 50 seconds? see how far I can get into the battle scenes because last time when I was in wave one I got locked out of completing all ten battles because I had to do some story thing. This isn't our city. Ooh, are we in a fake world? This is also something I'm thinking. Are we in a simulated fake world? And they're like, we're making you think it's real to be like high stakes lives on the line. Ooh, Natsuno is the MVP. Ah, uh, Nenji, you really gotta level up faster, man. The Matrix? Yeah, I wonder if it's something like that. Yes! Bonus objectives completed. Interlocitor. Interlocitor. Proceed to next wave? Yes. Now their brains are fried, so... Uh, let's see. Hijiyama on the strike team. Cool. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. Okay, so if I got some ground to- Woo! Chicken tuna! Oh my gosh! 13 months sub! Thank you so much for all of your support! When you're at a bit! Thanks for the content, dude! Thank you for just hanging around and popping in! How have you been, dude? Hope you've been well! Woo, woo, woo! 13 months! Okay, I'm gonna do. Let's see. Level 10, 10, 10, 11, 12. So I'm gonna do you, girls. And yeah, let's do it. Because yeah, they're 11 and 12. We ready. But yeah, I'm thinking if like the reason why they go on to different sectors is like, hey, this one didn't work, let's try out this simulation. And then whatever one works, I feel like they'll that's what they'll do in the real world. But that's just my thinking. Or maybe this really is a real world and there's just parallel timelines and universes. I don't know. Oh, 
Yeah, see how look how look how not imposing the monsters are. Because they just look like blocks. So originally all these kaiju were created to terraform planets. And it looks like they wanted to go out into space and then make different planets habitable for people. But then Ryoko screw screwed it all up somehow. And then all these kaiju kept getting mass produced and they just started destroying the world. And I think I'm only like a third done with the story. There's still so much left to go. Well, we're gonna start moving you. Uh, yeah, move you this way. Uh, we're also gonna move you. Uh, whoop. Uh, there's gotta be a shorter way. We're gonna move you this way. You guys will take care of the big thing. Um, I don't have anyone that can make. Oops. Make sentry guns, huh? Uh, no sentry guns for us! Okay, cool. So we're just gonna wait for everyone to land. Okay, uh, do I need to use EMP attractor? Are you on the ground? What do you know? They're on the ground! What? That only attacked one dude? What the heck? Um... Then I'm gonna leap attack you guys. Uh, Demolisher Blade? Cool. Uh, whoops! Uh, now that more dudes are landing... Uh, go for it. Uh, Demolisher Blade? Yeah, big guy. You gotta stop him from making more dudes. Uh, Multi-lock missiles? Uh... Long range missile. I think there are stuff this way. Oh, is it just you? Well, there's three of you over there, so I'll go after someone who's not being attacked right now. Okay. Yeah, that's weak. Demolish your blade. Um. Oh, you're also a super close dude. Then I will start moving you over to... over here. Yeah. Oh uh, no, uh, arm pulse laser. Leg spike! Uh, get out of the way of his beam! <laughs> Rush attack you! Oh no, I should have gone with the Samalisha Blade. I thought he was strong enough to do it, but he's not. Did stuff come out? Ooh, hi! All of you are here. Uh, flare torpedo? There's a lot of projectiles over there. Rush! What? Why'd you only get the small dude? Damn it! Um. Okay, I guess this is the best. Uh, okay. Your rush attack should be enough to kill him. 
And hopefully you get experience, a lot of experience for the kill. Oh, uh, leg spike again. Uh... Ooh, I gotta get rid of the big guy. Rush attack. Uh, really? I can't reach him? But I can reach these guys? What? That makes no sense. Uh, long range missiles. Oh, no, wait. Um, She's got the rail gun! Damn it, it's not a straight line, but that's the best I got. Just keep going after the big guy. Uh, can I rush you guys? Yes. Uh... No, I should do a lot of... Oh, wait, she can hit all of them. Okay, cool. She can help take these guys down. Rush attack. Get both of them, please. Yes! Awesome. Uh, rush attack. No, uh, demolish a blade. Get rid of them faster. Yeah, damn, that demolisher attack does a lot of damage. I should upgrade, um, Nenji's. Um, our monster pulse lasers. We're gonna go. Okay. Um, multi lock missiles. Boom. And then I'm gonna have to defend with her because she needs more EP. Uh, yeah, we'll help take care of all these small fry. I love flying units, they're the best. Uh, we're gonna have to move you closer to the action. Um, what's the fastest way? Whoops! Uh, yeah, go this way. Uh, yeah, then you get both of them. Multiple blade again! Damn, he hits! So hard! I love it! Let's see. Power 510, 8, Armor piercing, though. Yeah. Yeah! No, uh, we're gonna keep doing this, because there's a lot of random little dudes flying about. Okay, oops! Uh, we're gonna defend. Demolish your blade. Please and thank you. Like, all these close hitting guys are really strong, but the downside is it takes time for them to move. Ugh. Okay, it's a monster blade again. Back attack! Yes, do 2,000 extra damage, please. Uh, flare torpedo? You're not dead yet? How are you? What did that do? Might as well just kill him with Nenji. Demolish her blade. Oh, we're gonna move you back this way. Ooh, I'm running out of VP. I'm gonna have to defend with him too. Ah, oh, so close to dying. Long range missiles. She's gonna get the kill. Yay! 
Uh, like spike. Um, yeah, get the kill. Oh, I should have left it for Nenji because he doesn't really get a lot of chance to earn experience. Whoopsies! All of these battle waves are taking place within like this time span of an hour too. These guys must be exhausted. See, so like the story part of this game is really interesting because it's like, look at all these different paths you're taking, look at all these different timelines you're exploring. But then the battle is just like, meh, blocks. <laughs> it's like risk. Time flows weird in RPGs, you can spend hours grinding in mementos but only a couple hours pass in the real world. Mm -hmm. I was actually thinking in Persona 5, is like, time flowing the same in mementos or does time flow slower in mementos? So it's like you can spend 10 hours in mementos but in the real world only like 2 hours pass? Or is it real time? Because in Persona 3, in the midnight hour, it's like, you only have that hour. Ooh, nice, nice. B! <gasps> this is the first time- Oh, it's because I got too much sentinel damage? Who took damage? What? I didn't know. Boo! Boo! Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo all of these in my own time. All got that on the strike team. Oh. Uh, okay, time to recover. Yes. All got that on the strike team. Level 13, 14, 12, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 11, 12. Okay, so you're 14, you're 12, you're 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12. 12. Um, I'll do shoe because it's been a while. Um, uh, let's get Yori in there, and then let's get Kitaro. Red Eye. Dark Hour will only last for one hour, but we can spend three hours grinding if we wanted. Mm hmm. But there, like, the reasoning in, like, uh, Persona 3 is, hey, everything we did in Tartar Sauce is just one hour and then the midnight hour is done. But in Persona 5, it's like how much time passed, because you could go in for as long or as short as you want. And then I think in Persona 4, it was real time too, right? Because it's like, oh, we went in after school. Oh, we came out and it's nighttime. Nandakura Teme Sorta of, kinda of, but again in theory you can spend as much time in the TV world but only a couple hours past in the real world. Mm. What wave battle is this? Is this four or five? <laughs> I don't know why they keep showing the objectives when there's always the same. Kill the kaiju. Don't die. Uh, we're just gonna move you right there. We're gonna have you set up a sentry gun, right? There. Ah, oh, Judah could also set up a sentry gun. Whoopsies. Okay. 
Uh, now it's time to boogie. Leap attack. Oh, y'all. Boom. Uh, can I leave attack again? Yeah, I can! Whoa! That's a lot! Do I have another close range character? No. Uh, Sentry Gun! Multi-lock missiles! Good timing. Hit the hit. You can start taking care of everyone in the southeast corner. Uh, you can set up another... Oh, it's not you! Whoops! <laughs> uh, leave attack these fools. That didn't kill them? What? Well, set up another sentry gun here. Ooh. Oh, the big guy's in the air. I gotta EMP him. Really be helping uh Shu over there. Uh EMP attractor. Uh you help out. Oh no, you're too far. Uh we'll move you a little bit closer. Get closer. Sentry gun up here. Uh, multi lock missiles again. Should really get out of their hitting. Demolish a blade. Uh, multi rocket launchers. Uh, who's in dire need? Uh, all of you seem good. Uh, then I'll just do this. Cool. Then I will start moving you to these guys. Uh, these guys here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Shu's still doing well health-wise. Nenji's not doing too bad. Um, yeah, just kill these guys. Okay, now can I hit them? Yes, I can! So this is why we needed him. Because there's a ton of chonky boys. Uh, should I set up another sentry gun? Maybe I should. Because there are pretty big guys over there. Long range missiles. Ooh! Where did you guys come from? Okay. I guess I will kill you guys. I did not know they landed. Whoopsies! They landed. Use all the sentry guns? Yeah, I should just spend all my EP just making all the guns. Uh Yeah, get get these guys. Monster blade again. That all you got Mm -hmm. 
Really? You're still alive? How are you still alive? Can you die now? Thank you. Oh my gosh, I wanted to move him over to the right more. But, uh, whoa, hi. I did not know you were there. Oh my word. Oh my word. They're just too much happening. One in every 12 people in America owes a gun. The question is, how do we get guns to the other 11? <laughs> Really? It's that much? <laughs> okay, now he can get everyone. Oh, I don't have enough for a sentry gun! Ah! Um, I'll place a guardian so that it stops attacking- Whoops! Uh, nope, I can't. Actually... Yeah, there's no big guys on the way here. Hmm. Multi rocket launcher? Yeah. Demolisher <laughs> blade. America has the largest armed population of any country. It's like we really don't need it. Have any wars been fought on our soil since the Civil War? No. Is anyone actively attacking us out of war? No. We don't need it. Okay, where on the map are you? You're very far from the action now, so let's bring you up uh, this way. Can I attack anyone? No. Uh, but I can do this! They are fun to shoot, plus you never know when you may need to shoot a trap. <laughs> I mean, if you are properly trained, and you have a sound mental, like, check, and you get... It's kind of like the driver's license. You take a written test, you do some practical training, like, you know how to properly handle and clean a gun and take care of a gun. Like, go for it. You show proper ID that you are, you know, a safe person who knows what they're doing and knows how to handle stuff. Go for it. Otherwise, it's just like, why? Why? Is he getting hit? No, he's not. Demolisher blade. You're in range. Doi. Yes. Uh, flare torpedo? No, flare torpedo does nothing. Convergent lasers? Doesn't hit everyone. Pulse lasers? Does not hit everyone. Well then, I guess I'm doing this. Can I leap attack? Nope. Then you're chillin'. Make me dab! <laughs> oh, the city's at 82%. Whoopsies! I think I failed? <laughs> My mission? EMP stands for EW. More pickles. <laughs> I 
相手も自動修復するだろうし一時的なものだがそれでも時間は稼げる勝てたのか Did we win? Heck yeah, we did. Oh, Nanji took so much damage. Oh, Iori is my MVP. I can fight too. I don't know what all these character skills do. I really should read up on it. Regas! Why did I get B on the last one? Frack. It's because Hijiyama and um, Nanji took too much damage. Crack. Who's Takemi Wajima? Proceed to next wave? Yeah, sure, why not? Maximum four strike team members. Goto on the strike team. Clear without a sentinel being immobilized. Um. Level 12, level 15, level 13. If possible, I would like to keep my aerial peoples, but 14, 13, 12, 12, 12, 14, 13, 12, 15, 13, 12, 14, 14. Mm, I guess I should have one heavy hitter on the ground. And then one all rounder, so sorry. Uh, 14, 12. Sorry, Shu, you're out, and we're gonna have. Uh, Kisaragi. Or do I want her for the sentry guns? I think I want uh, Yoko for the sentry guns. Actually, I need to take a break and go to the bathroom. I will be right back! Alright, let's get this battle started! Actually, before I go, can I level up some stuff? Like you... Anti-ground hunter missile, main battery, mega railgun. Sure. Let's equip this with... Mega railgun. Uh, and enhance it. Uh, and I want to do stun knuckles enhance and long range missiles enhance. Uh, Ryoko, let's enhance the sentry guns uh, and the multi rocket launchers. Uh, Yuri, Judo, A. Is A on my team? Yeah. Uh, Demolisher Blade. Um, halts movement, drops aerial kaiju, and distracts kaiju. Ooh, yes! But the EMP attractor kind of does that too. Um, mm, let's see, this is power 110, watch 3 effect 10 seconds. Oh, this is way stronger! Okay, then get rid of you. And we enhance this. Limiter removal, force cooling device, anti-grounds, multi-lock missiles. 
towards ground kaiju with target area. Um, actually, yeah, this might be pretty good. A big, um, whatchamacallit. Power 500, power 800 times 4. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of you. Let's enhance this one, so okay. Takatoshi Shijiyama, counter. Why can't I do this? Immediately counteracts all kai ground kaiju need to sentinel. Yes! That sounds awesome! Um, we're gonna get rid of... Tackle, because I don't use it on him. And... let's see... Immune to attacks dealing less, $500 damage or less. Yes! We're gonna equip this on... Uh, on this. We're gonna make him a super tank. The queen returns. Hey, Artsy, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Uh, let's see. We're gonna enhance this one more, and let's see. Rush attack, why not? Free upgrade to a thing. Nenji Ogata! We're also gonna enhance this for you up to level 2. Do you also have... No, he doesn't. He doesn't have the same things as a... Ooh, a modified condenser extends the demolisher blade's range and number of attacks. Costs 150 EP more. Yes. Equip this on... Uh, this one. Anti-ground multi-lock missiles. Um... Again, but that's only on ground kaiju. Uh... Let's also enhance this for you. Meta system. Now let me update people first before I do anything. Um, floating mine. Deploys kaiju sensitive mines. Interceptors. Auto fire on kaiju. Yes! Equip this! Heck yeah, enhance it! Uh, shield repair. Uh, flare torpedo. No, floating mine. And let's just do that because you seem to use the end a uh, close attack. Do, 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 do. Man, I'm getting hungry, but I don't want to eat because uh, I felt kind of dizzy b before, and I feel like it's because I was um I was uh, overeating. Equip this and equip this and enhance this. Yes. Yuki Takamiya! Let's enhance this, let's enhance this. Flare Torpedo. She also does Interceptors. And Counter. Uh, yes, I want to do Counter. And I want to do Interceptors. Because I feel like Interceptors are the um, sentry guns in the air. And I like that. Megumi, Tomi, Keitaro. Did I update you? Yeah, I updated you. Okay. Yoko. I'll just leave the points for whoever needs it later. Let's go! Had a big supper. I ate a big lunch. Because I wanted to finish eating food before it went bad. And I don't think that was a good idea. <laughs> Like, I knew if I ate before stream, I would get super dizzy and I would not be able to play. But maybe after this, I'll eat, like, toast or something. Or a banana. Maybe I'll eat a banana. Also, I should not play Genshin Impact tonight because it makes me so dizzy. But I need to at least log on for my daily log on bonus. So this is why Goto needed to be in this battle, because he knows about these sentinels.
So they tried to automate the sentinels, but they're like, nope, they're just too affected by the kaiju. So that's why they need human pilots inside them. Also, Judo seems to... It seems like Judo knows more than he's letting on. But what is he hiding? An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks that inflicts damage of 300 or lower. Deliver attacks that deal high damage with each blow. To win this battle, you must destroy seven gladiators. Okay, so just focus on the big guys. And the small fry, fry we can just leave alone. Got it. Uh, sentry gun! Please and thank you. Uh, interceptors! You too, interceptors! And you can start moving. Ha, I love this! <laughs> I have the power! Uh, let's see, um... Pulse laser. Like Spike! Yes! I love the interceptors, holy crap this is awesome! So the only people that don't have anything that's like a sentry gun or the interceptors are Natsuno, uh, Megumi, Tomi, and of course the ground boys. Woo! These are a lot of people! Uh, can I demolish your blade? You're the gladiator, right? Yeah, you're the gladiator. Focus my attacks on him. Okay, now I can multi-lock you guys. You can set up another sentry gun to handle things on this side. Leg spike, uh, big boys, please. What? Where? Oh yeah, there you are. Okay. This is not a problem. Uh, where's the road? Yeah, there we go. She got the gladiator back attack. You keep taking care of all the big wide range areas. Ooh, wow, she is out of EP. Oh my gosh, they better not keep- I don't care! Shut up! I know they're coming! I know I have to kill them! Uh, can I start beating these- okay, we need to do um, some EMP stuff to land them on the ground. There we go. And now I can hit you. Uh, it's a monster blade. Yeah. Three more to go! 
Thank you, I know. Um... Will that hit the drill fly? Okay, it only hit one. So. Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? But anyways, I gotta kill the gladiators first. They are high priority. Whoa. Uh, fine, that's the closest I can get to one. Uh, wow, I can't do Interceptor, so I'll just do something else that costs zero. Just so that he builds up EP. Like Spike. Uh, Ryoko, can you make another sentry gun? I feel like we need help. Uh, you. Yep. Two left! Oh my gosh! I can count! Uh, will that hit you? Yes, it will. Uh... Why do these guys seem so tough to kill? Yes, yes. Now the last one. You don't say. Yes, they're all gone. All gladiators destroyed. Everyone else dies. They weren't. Didn't go to say they were the captured sentinels in the beginning of the battle? They were newly created. Ooh. Who's the 121 pilot? Don't trust robots to do a person's work. I'm guessing that all of these sentinel, um, enemy sentinels can get way stronger. Dun dun dun! Close combat boys can handle the strain. Oh, hey, you got so hurt. Yoko Shidonome, not dead yet acquired. Wow, that's a wonderful skill. Brawling prodigy leadership. Oh, only A didn't level up to 15. Boo. Rank S, heck yeah. Boom, boom. Yay, what did I unlock? Automated factory, cool. Yep, now I'm locked because I did five battles. I can't believe I got a B in this one. That's so stupid. Complete shoot Amiguchi's across the world in 30 kilometers events. Okay. Event archive. Uh, no, I want to unlock some more stuff. What can I unlock? Tamo! Yes. In 2188, she is Chihiro Moribura's mentor, as well as a leading authority on artificial intelligence. Despite the fact that she's 120 years old, she looks much younger than her true age thanks to nanomachine treatments. Weird. But this is Tamo Kurobe in 1945! And then we don't know how she looks in 1985. Ida Tetsuya, yes please. 
substitute teacher assigned to Ryoko Shinonome's class at Sakura High School. He's actually a member of an unofficial organization who forces Shinonome into battle. Ida is the director of the Special Investigations Unit. Government affiliated sp ah, spies. He serves as an advisor to the anti kaiju defense team and helps Morimura gather members for their team. Back when he was a student, he supported Tomi Kisaragi on her singing live streams under the screen name Fate. He used to wear glasses and came off as a studious, serious young man, but he tried to act cooler in high school to catch Kisaragi's attention. He was in love with the deceased Kisaragi, so in order to revive her, he developed androids at Shikishima Industries in 2100. He transplanted the past Kisaragi and Tamao Kurabe's AI into androids. Weirdo. Man who looks like Judo Kurabe. The man who appears and fights alongside the woman who looks like EOD Fuisaka in Judo Kurabe's dream and kills all the students. 426 is the prison number of an escaped criminal from the future, and look at his butt. Damn. Um, the Tamao Android. An android that looks like Tamao Kurabe, it was developed by Tetsuya Ida, and Tamao's memories were transplanted into it. Um, let's see. I want to unlock some more stuff because I have all the points. I'm not going to read them all, though, but which ones seem very interesting? Dog face. Ha! A 1980s slang term used to call someone ugly. Nenji Okata threw this insult at Tomi Kisaragi in the original Japanese. The word he uses is chinkasa, derived from chin, Japanese chin dog, and kushami, astiz. Japanese chin dog's facial features are unusually close together, and the originator of this insult must have imagined that such a dog sneezing would be especially hard on the eyes. While Kisaragi failed to recognize this old-fashioned retort, it was clear that it wasn't a compliment. Aww. Mm, World of World screen uniform. Uh, second graders magazine? What? Oh, okay. A League of Darkness. Ew, that's creepy! Ew, that mask is creepy! Ew, I can't- don't look at it. Um... Goto's notebook. Oh, yeah. Mm, Japanese history book. Could have had a resonance layout. Ooh, that's a nice. Ooh, I got a trophy. Nice. Um, let's see. I have six more mystery points left. So, Minami's notebook? Oh, boo. Um, brown envelope, Shikishima. Let's do the can soda. Paw paw. And Valkyrie. With. Uh, Vanilla Ware's logo on the can. If they sold that drink, I would totally buy it. Uh, ooh, the Interstellar Development Project. Yeah, the one where they're making all the stuff. Are there any other people I can unlock? Because I'd rather unlock stuff about people rather than things. Nope, no more peoples. Um, then I'll just go in order now. Time travel. Oops, I don't have any more points. Okay. Back to the story! Who should I do? Who should I do? Um, I sh could do Ryoko to catch her up to everyone. Yeah. I'll do Ryoko, even though I don't like her. I just ordered this game. Nice! Also, hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining! Guess you're coming tomorrow? Woo! Start playing it! My character got hurt today, stung by wasp. Probably sadly, I sold the nest without realizing it was used for medicine. So my character one eye. Um, the store sells medicine. Also, if you use Nook Miles tickets and go to a random island, shake trees with your net out. Um, catch the bee, and then you can use the hive and all the weeds you find on um the Nook Island to make medicine and get better. New glasses, you look nice and nerdy with them. Thank you. These are new. Right now, I have three different pairs of glasses. Crazy. Yeah, whenever you shake trees, make sure you're holding the net and you're standing right in front of the tree so that when you're shaking it, the hive drops. You're like, shock, just keep mashing A so that you can immediately catch the bees. You should change glasses every stream so people think you get new glasses every stream. Haha, <laughs> and they get compliments. <laughs> I'll be like, woo! That would be so cool if I got different pairs of glasses for each day of the year. Because there are some really cool glasses designs. Glassy toast, more like classy toast! <laughs> 
ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲みなさい。ちゃんと飲み
is able to pilot a sentinel from the future and then they come back to the past to be like, hey guys, guess what? We're gonna infect you with nano machines so that you can um you can whatchamacallit, pilot a sentinel? I really thought that Joko would get together with uh, Renya. It's like, hey, get over Ida and just get with Renya. I'm your partner. Okay. Oh, wait, why are you black now? I can talk to you more? I won't listen to anyone except for Ida. Can I get the file? List of compatible ones. Four girls, but there's six girls in total. Only girls. Okay, so Iori and Tomi. Megumi. What about- oh, they don't know about Natsuno and Yuki. Okay, okay. That's all we have here. Wait, but you got judo? Oh, they don't know about Nenji? And they don't know about Nenji and Shu? And then all the other boys, well, they know Renya already, so not him. And A is not from this time. Hijiyama is not from this time. Keitaro is not from this time. Makes sense. Or Goto knows about them. Compatible boys. Okay, maybe now they'll list um, Shu and Nenji. Wait, what? Wait, what? But you're so obsessed with him. You need to know why you're obsessed with him. Oh, she knows about the Kirei. He ruined the Sentinels. Destroyed my home. Wow, she doesn't even see A as a person anymore. She's just like, you're a thing because you ruined my hopes and dreams of what I set out to accomplish? I feel like A was only sabotaging the... He's an AI! So is A also in an android body? Oh... He's not real. Thingy toast, ha ha ha. Dude, so A isn't real. Okay, what do I need to... Okay, so tell me the boys! Wait, what? Wait, what? Jelly asking for more boys. Heck yeah, I am. My three favorite characters so far are boys. My favorite characters are um. Where are you? Uh. I like Keitaro, Miura, and I like A Sekigahara. 
And I like Takatoshi Hijiyama. And then in a very close fourth, I like. Where you at? Where you at? Nenji Ogata. Those are my favorite characters so far. You have that on hand? I need to have it in front of me to remember what the characters' faces look like and what their names are. <laughs> oh sure, it's not because you think the boys are cute. <laughs> no, seriously, like, this is starting to, like, the front page is getting, like, really bent out of shape because I keep opening it. I'm like, what the hell is everyone's name? Because I'm learning their first names, but then sometimes they'll just refer to them by last names, and I'm like, who the hell is that? <laughs> no! There's one. いいところに現れた。ちょうど探していたんだ。Oh no, the shaking's happening again. Ah, oh, stop it. Stop it. Karewa Stop shaking. Huh? Compatible boys. Ooh. And compatible girls. Huh? Yuki chan. Oh, see, she's blushing. She totally likes him. Stop it. In bed. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, make up for what? I swear we're very mature adults. Very mature. Okay, it's not shaking when she's in her thought. Nope, it is still shaking. Okay, so the way she's feeling about Shu right now, he definitely is Tetsuya Ida. But then where did the name Shu Amiguchi come from? That's ridiculous, because I'm already in love with Ida-san. Strange feeling has been added to the thought cloud. Ah! Should I take the pills? Let's see my... Ooh, compatible boys and surveillance footage. Okay. I, li I like seeing how distorted it's getting. It's not shaking when she's in her thought. Or so you thought. Ha 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 ha. I was a fool. I don't want to take the pills. I don't want to take the pills. Let's just go. Damn it, do I have to take the pills? I think I do. Damn it. Yep, I have to take it. And now I have my thought cloud again. Ooh, you love with him? You gotta marry him? We're going to the third floor. So 
So this has to be before Yuki joins the SIU to spy on the Sentinel pilots. Because at that point, Yoko knew who all the girls were. Why can I consider 426 again? Oh, and it's gonna be Iori. That's like, yes, I saw him! Hello. Hello. You are a girl. Hi. I gathered no information. Calm down. Whoa, a senpai wants to. Oh, she's only interested in the boy. Oh my gosh. Brave soul. <laughs> Her voice is making my head hurt. <laughs> Why, why'd you go away? Doing what? Run from what? What? Do you know who I am? Run away? Okay, um... You! Megumi. No, I only have eyes for judo. Wait! How how do these girls know what? Oh, Megumi and Tomi might know about him because they heard about him in the future in 2025 because they saw him. Maybe you were right about the Matrix thing. I'm thinking maybe. Because Megumi saw Judo in the Sentinel, so she knows all about the Sentinels and the pilots. Oh my gosh, how many times is your head gonna hurt? Stop it! Remember. Oh shoot, did that take me on a different path? It took me on a different path! Judo Kurabe and run away. Run away! What's my other option? Oh shoot! What's this? Surveillance? Yeah, I still don't have surveillance footage. Okay, so let's just do this path. More paths! Oh, too many paths! I want Miyoku. Mm, I'm in the mood for some soup. Some seaweed soup. I had some today. Lucky! With some brown rice? That sounds so good. You have a good night. Thanks for the advice tonight. Have a good night, food. Thanks for joining. Doing some kimchi? Ooh, that sounds so good. I brought a ton of random Korean food from Maryland after I visited my parents. Ooh, nice! You went to Maryland? Cool, cool. 
East Coast seems to have good Korean food. Also, if I go into Koreatown in LA, there's good Korean food, but I'm too lazy to go there. So I guess the... <laughs> yes, I am lazy. I don't like driving into the city. So I guess this is why... All the kaiju battles don't start until a certain point in time. Because when all the kaiju goes boom and everyone activates their sentinels, that's when A was like, okay, let's use the sentinels, I'm guessing? No, I have to pilot it myself. It's my job. Ida san is counting on me to do it. It was given to me by Ida san. Yeah, she's way too obsessed about Ida, and I don't like her. Oh, is that why Judo got messed up in Sentinel 14? It's because Ryoko was supposed to pilot it, but then Judo's like, she's too banged up that she can't do it. Going through more paths. Wait. Okay, yeah, none of that was new because I was able to fast forward through it. Um, who do I talk? Wait. Okay. I fast forwarded through all the thought words because they were old from the last time we did it and if there was any new dialogue I wouldn't be able to fast forward through it. <laughs> Are you okay? No! Your face made my head hurt! <laughs> まだ寝ていた方がいい。心配無用よ。これで少し質問に答えて。1985年。分かってる。大丈夫。そう。そう。ちょっと薬は飲み忘れただけ。ゲート。時間移動はまだ無理よ。それもわかってる。治ったら教えて。そうね。きっとヒントは。We gotta find a blue paw print. That's the first clue. 2064年のあの事件にあるわ。We put it in a note because two's clues, blue's clues, blue's clues. I guess I'm leaving. どこへ行く気だ? To the third floor! To the third floor! To the wall! They really wanted her idle animation show of her bustiness. You gotta have big busty lady in a vanillaware game. Okay, wow. Wait, how do I go back to nurse's office one? What? I There's another path. Oh wait, I still don't have the surveillance footage. <laughs> okay, so now I have runaway. So what can I do with runaway? But how do I do it? Do I have to run into you again? And Kisara 
Maybe when she is being distracted and talking. Yeah, because now the conversation is focused on them. And then I could... I could run! Run! Yeah, run! No, I can't! No! No! Ah, he got up! <laughs> oh, that's scary! Ooh! I was trying to run! これでも君の力になれるつもりなんだ。どうかしらね。頭が好き好き。Take my pills, take my pills. Gotta be clear-headed when I run away. 関ヶ原やつの背。Okay, so it has to be when he's distracted. Oh. Why do I need to run? Oh, I have to talk to her about running away. Running! Get away! Cafeteria! Oh, and then I get lost in the crowd. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep r Whoa, what's that? Examine. I hope this doesn't waste time. Go, 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 go. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! No, I can't take it! Oh my gosh! I love you! Man, all the ladies want shoe. Ryoko loves him because he's Tetsuya Ida, but he loves Tomi in the future, but right now he likes Yuki. Damn, he's a playboy. I'm trying to run! I'm trying to run! Do you have to talk to you again? I have bit Oreos. They're very dangerous for me right now. I blame my mind. I have cheese puff balls. And they're delicious. And I have pumpkin cheesecake soft cookies. And they're so good. Cheese puff balls, yeah, cheese do- Oh, maybe I'll get some. I'll eat some after stream. <laughs> Mr. Ida, remember. Time to remember the times of December. Okay, what the freak? I hate Ryoko's pass. What the hell? Cause staircase can exit the hallway and something else happens here. But there's another path. Oh my word. This sucks. Cheesy toast. Hehehe. He, he, he. I shall taunt you with the cheesy balls. That's what he said. <laughs> Of course she wouldn't have Prince. She's not a criminal. I have amnesia. Let me go. Oh no, wait, he knows about the SIU and the Sentinels. Magic! 
How did you say it appears in 2100 when it's only 1984? How are you alive now? If you're from the future! I mean, she has a giant freaking robot. How, like, how unbelievable could her story be? It's the love of her life. He does this. But he doesn't love her. I wonder why she's so freaking attached to him. Oh, my light and shining armor. Mike, does Yoko not have any parents or anyone special that can take care of her? Probably. Yo, she is like, um, what's her name? They from Evangelion. Bandaged head, always hurt, super obsessed with the dude in charge. Lame. Am I still on the path? Nope, I'm still in interrogation. What's your name? Hokkien you were saved by him in 1984. He's clearly alive. What the heck? It's because he's the same. It makes sense now because Shihiro Morimura, the school nurse, is actually Iori Fuyusaka. And like they have different names, so Shu Amiguchi could really be Tetsuya Ida. Uh... Shu, why do you become such a jerk in the future? Go into her path again. Want to be able to unlock all the things. Uh Nikeru but he clearly saved me in 1984. How many times do I have to talk to her about the pills? Yes, I know about this. Um. 
Unless I have to talk to her about something else. Or do I have to talk to you about something? No? Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do I have to tell you? Oh, gate again? Oh, we still can't time travel. Yeah, whatever. Then what else do I tell you? Um, Mr. Ida again? Yeah, we know this. What else do you want? What else do you want from me? I'm in nurse's office two. How do I get back to nurse's office one? No! What's that last pa- Oh, I still don't have surveillance for the show. Okay. Um, okay, then I'm leaving. No to the third floor. So Some parts of this are confusing when it's like, what action do you want me to take to be able to take the other paths? Like, if you screw up, they'll send you back to the point where you need to go to, but it's like, just- Tell me? Judo Kurabe. Judo Kurabe. But I want to do exit the hallway again. Stream team. Oh yeah, I don't have any surveillance footage. <laughs> um, you. Anything at all? And then I talk about run away with her. What if I go this way? Is this a ditch option? Yes, it is! Schoolyard vending machines! Woo! And this leads me to buy the vending machines. Okay, so next time I should try to go to the staircase again. Cool, 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 cool. Kichiyama! Pills. Oh, they're empty. Whoopsies! The nurse's office should have some, so I need to eventually go back. I need to get some sleep soon. I'm starting to get really dizzy. Hi. He just blushes at every girl. It's like, did you not talk with girls back in 1944? <laughs> I need to be a man in uniform. A military uniform. Taking the last pill. Go to the nurse's office. And then... Oh, but Iori's there. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mae wa kono atari ni oite atta kedo. Doko kana? About that cabinet? No. Nope. Okay, then I'll just look at you sleeping. Joshi seto ga nete iru. Kono ko. It's almost like she looks like the school nurse! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's because she looks like that. Hey, did you see Prisoner 426? Oh my gosh, she has pills! Ample? Ample. Ampule? Ample. NM 0206. Nanomachine. 
Oh, so school nurse has been infecting all the students with nano machines. Because she's a compatible, duh. Medication record. Attempt seven. So she's tried on six different clones before. Hmm. What? What? Memory separation progressing? So they're purposely trying to make her memories go away. They're splitting her mind from her body. As with Judo Izumi administering personality synthesis. They're trying to separate her real memories and give her current body a false... A false personality. Uh, if I don't have permission to read these papers, why are you just leaving them out? Yeah, I think the pills are a way... They're like, oh, if you take the pills, your head will start hurting. But it's also a way for them to separate her memories, probably? Or to facilitate her false personality? I ran out! What do the pills do to me? It's time for what? Hammer time! Do, 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 do. Nope, that's Kanta. Yeah, can't touch this. My, 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 my music has been so hard. Make you say, oh my. It's time to disappear! But I have other paths to go to! Don't trust Morimura. Woo! Here we go again. Uh, ample. Yeah, it wasn't a dream because you still have it, so you're going through another loop. So who are you supposed to be then, Ryoko? Because Iori is probably supposed to turn into actual Chihiro Morimura. But who's Ryoko? Yeah, I hate that I have to consider this all the time. Now who do I talk to with you? Pills and Ida. We don't know, he's lost after 2464. I got more pills! I'm in nurse's office too. So my objective is to go into the staircase, but not talk to... Yeah, don't do the strange feeling. Got it, got it, got it. Tell me when it's fixed. Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. The third floor! Run to the staircase. Run to the staircase. Don't think about flashback. Run to the staircase. Don't think about flashback. Let's go. Tommy! Tommy, run away! Run away! To the cafeteria! Dairy toast. Ha 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 ha. Did 
Take the pills! Oh, or don't take it! So far. Don't touch the shoe! Bye! Or I have to talk to him. Cool. ひどいな先輩。俺ですよ。アミグチ。アミグチ。アミグチ。覚えがないわね。放っておいて。先輩。知らない人なのに。なんだろう。懐かしいような。my head or not do I have to keep talking with him I can't do the strange feeling take the pills get better leave Leave, please. The cafeteria! I'm I'm so afraid that Renya's gonna catch up to me. And yes! What the frack? So depending on what I do, I could accidentally go to taking the last pill, or there's two different paths. Freaking Yoko sucks! Ah. <laughs> Nope, Tommy's here. Kisoragi-san,なんでまた関ヶ原追いかけてんのよ。あなたは知らないでしょうが。But he's an android prisoner. How much do you know already? Shittteるの。あんたが言ったのよ。don't you remember? あんた。森村に何されてるの？もうダメ。頭が悪い。ああ、take no, no, I could still I could still go back to chase by Kisaragi. I can fix this. As long as I don't go back to the nurse's office, I'll be fine. Think harder, yes! Went back to the right path. Yes!面倒な世情がなされてるな。強引に接続するのも無理か。スプライズ。涼子さん。予想通り、ゲートの前に現れた。もう逃げられないぞ。426。俺が426だって。or maybe a really is a human the reason why they call him 426 and the reason why he's carrying around the dd 426 code is because he picked it up from someone maybe <laughs> Yeah, I think he's being framed for something. I'm gonna trust an A. I'm gonna believe an A. He's a good boy. Uh, bye! Where did we go? When did we go? 2025. Oh yeah, and I brought uh, Nenji, Miwako, and Tomi with us. Yeah, 
位置を追跡されるゲートの履歴を消さないと And then she tries to shoot me Well, I'm Doko right now, so I try to shoot him この子たちも奴のせいで You okay? Taking all shan of history. Kisarangi Tomidawa. Unno Waruiko. Unlucky girl. And she doesn't know the boy, so she's not gonna talk to him. It's you. Four to six. Ryokosa. Oh, it's Metaso Yoniroka. Snap out of it, Ryoko, you stupid girl. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> トリガーがロックされてる。トリガー。俺を撃てないように設定されている。I'll Why do you have them too? Is he gonna swap bottles with her? Yeah, see, I think A's a good boy. Yeah, A's a good boy, and Ida, Ida probably told her, hey, he's a bad dude, because A was trying so hard to get Ida to stop using Ryoko to fight. And Ida was probably like, you're annoying. Like, get out of here. But who's chasing you, A? Yeah, Ida could have been the one who totally infected the Sentinels and was like, Oh, hey guys, A's Sentinel is infecting everyone. Ho ho. I think it's Ida. Because Ida was the one monitoring all of the Sentinel's uh, battle information and he was like, Whoa, they're being infected! He totally could have done it on his end. Whoa, that means Shu's a jerk! But... Shu isn't a jerk. At least when he's a teenager. To be continued. Who is four two six? How else do I do your thing? Because I'm guessing surveillance footage is still locked. No, Judo Kurebe is still locked, and surveillance footage is still locked. Well, I go to the class. No, I could go to the empty cafeteria. Okay. Let's... Oh wait, we're closing up on three hours and I'm feeling dizzy. I really want to finish her paths though. Uh... Let's try one more time. We're going one more.
while this is still fresh in my mind. Because you're all so obsessed with Ida that you don't think about things. It was your beloved Ida. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Uh. I have to talk to you about something? No. Okay. Uh, what's still locked? Gate. Yeah. Do I have to talk to you more? About what happened in 2064. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where am I going? To the third floor. Okay, and so I can't exit the... No, wait. No, I do have to go to the staircase and empty cafeteria and see what changes. Staircase. Cafeteria. Like, do I have to examine this to have something different? Club recruitment. But I took my pills! Hi. Let's talk with you again. Uh... Nothing I could talk to him about, so take my pills. Or not. Keep talking to him. What happens if I go drugged up? I can't. So I have to use this, and then I talk to you again? No? Can I go to the empty cafeteria now? Yes, I can. But then, this is gonna do the same thing that I did last time, so what could possibly change? I'm not gonna take the pills. So, empty cafeteria, what unlocks that route? Do I have to take the pills? Is there anywhere else I could go? No, okay, so I do have to take the pills. Check. I'm out of pills. Okay. Take the last pill. I feel like... <sighs> How come this time I'm not chased by Tomi? I feel like if I go back to the nurse's office, it's all gonna be the same. I'm gonna experience that nurse flashback scene again. Let's try it. Maybe something will be different this time? No, there's no branching path though. Yeah, we're back. Unless there's something new to see here. Like, she's messing with your head, man. Yeah, I'm just back here, damn it! I already had the ample, but cool. What are you doing to my head? Oh my gosh! How do I unlock it? <laughs> okay, well, maybe this is a sign that I should stop. Maybe I'll like look up a walkthrough for next time to see how I unlock this last path from empty cafeteria. Maybe I have to talk to Megumi? I don't know. And then see how I unlock the other two. Because her, her path isn't locked so far, so I can go through at least one more thing. But yeah, I'll look that up, and then, oh man, I really want to finish this game fast. Oh wait, today's Tuesday. I thought today was Wednesday, and I was like, I don't stream on Thursdays, but hey, that means I get to play more tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, I'll find out how to do her path, and then I'll see whose other path I want to do next. But yeah, I'm sleepy. I'm hungry. I need to eat some cheese puffs before I sleep.
you could stream every weekday. Oh man, I might just to finish this game in time for um Halloween so I could play some spooky games. Yeah, that's my goal to finish as soon as possible. But for tonight, I am going to sleep because I am dizzy and I am sleepy. So thank you all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good day night spooky toast hype heck yeah fatal frame 2 and demon souls woo anyways good night bye bye